A fiery crash in Loxley sends two people to the hospital and bullets flying. And that's because a semi which caught fire in the accident was carrying ammunition. Highway 90 was shut down for a while to clear the accident. Our Hal Sherrick was on the scene and spoke with a nearby resident who helped one of the victims. It was a little nerve-wracking, especially knowing that there's a truck of ammo going off and you don't know if a stray bullet's going to come off or not with it right there. Zoe Thomas and her family sprung into action when a semi-truck and car collided in front of their home. The accident happened shortly after 11 Friday morning. Police say a semi-truck was headed west on Highway 90 and turned in front of a car going east. The car hit the truck in the fuel tank, which started a fire. The driver of the car was able to get out right away and make her way to a nearby house for help. I go look out the window. The truck's just engulfed in flames. The car behind him is crushed and the woman had jumped out of the car, I guess in shock, and got across the ditch and they ended up bringing her into my house. And she was downstairs, she was bleeding, big gash on her head, stuff like that. The fire quickly spread through the truck, igniting some ammunition inside. Witnesses say they heard a lot of shots ringing out. Meanwhile, police closed the highway in both directions. There is concern with that and you want to keep your distance away from the from the vehicle collision, especially if it's a commercial vehicle and you don't know what's in it. Um, but, you know, we kept the public at a relatively safe distance with the manpower that we had and, you know, let it, let it fizzle out. The unidentified victim was flown to an area hospital for treatment. We don't know what her condition is at this time. Now, the driver of the truck was taken by ambulance to the hospital to be checked out. Now, as for the ammunition, police say they're not sure how much it was carrying, what kind it was, saying that it was not relevant to the accident itself. Reporting live in Loxley, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.